Within Massive, you have the ability to connect to third-party storage and automate uploads, whether that's to a cloud storage, shared on-premise storage, or cold storage. This simplifies storage complexity and configuration requirements while still improving security. To do this, go to the side menu of your Massive account and click on the Integrations option. From here, you can choose from our pre-configured library of cloud storage applications or connect to a network storage device like a SAN or NAS. Once a storage is connected, you can set it up as a destination for a Massive portal to collect uploads from contributors and automatically ingest them into your storage. All your contributors need to do is drag and drop files into the portal. Massive will make sure it saves into the storage. Let's start by connecting to a storage device. Click on the Integrations button on the menu and then select New Integrations and select Storage Device from the dropdown. Here, you can name the storage device you want to connect to. For example, I will name this New York Office. Next, we need to select the transfer direction, indicating whether we want to save media to the storage or send media from it. I will select Save to Storage so we can write to it. Please remember this direction as it will be factored in later in the process. Click Next to proceed. You will see a new window with instructions for your IT administrator to follow. First, we need to install the Massive agent on the device you want to integrate with Massive. You can follow those instructions in the link provided. Once the Massive agent is installed, you can proceed to the next step. Second, copy and paste the provided code into your terminal application, then edit the root path to set it to the desired destination. This code authenticates your permissions to connect to the storage device with your Massive account, specifying which paths you are allowed to read or write to and what actions you can perform with this connection. In the root path, enter the specific folder path you want to grant access to relative to the shared path when you first set up the Massive agent. This can be either a full directory or limited access depending on your preference. In the permissions section, there will be either a W for write or R for read. Ensure you do not change any of these settings as this could break the cloud integration. Next, run the code and wait for the connected with storage gateway message, confirming that everything has been set up. And that's all. Back in your Massive account, refresh the web page and check the status of your new storage device integration. If you see a green OK, then you're all set. Your Massive account is now connected to your storage device. Now, Let's do the same, but with a cloud storage instead. The process is the same as before. Go to Integrations and choose from one of our many pre-configured options. Not only do we support drives and buckets, but we also support media asset managers like Frame.io. Let's choose that. Once selected, you just need to enter the required account credentials. Some storage options will require a developer token, which you can get from the storage provider's developer site. Once the connection is verified, you'll then have the option to choose the project and target directory for the ingest. Hit connect and you're done. Lastly, let's look at some of the cold storage options that we support. From integrations, go to Amazon S3 and scroll down to storage classes. Here, you will see an additional list of infrequent access and archival storage options such as Amazon Glacier and OneZone IA. These work the same as cloud integrations, but are directed to a specific storage class in S3 to support archival workflows. With storage devices, our cloud integration library, and Amazon cold storage support, Massive allows anyone to centralize their data and content ingest through a simple web browser. It's an easy and secure way for internal and external teams to contribute to shared storage without wasting time opening ports and juggling individual permissions. Visit Massive.io for more information and try Massive for free today.